Hello everyone. In our last video, we talked about the expanded withholding tax or EWT in which our business is the withholding tax agent or the payer. In this video, we will do the other way around in which we are the payee or the entity subject to the withholding tax. In our example today, we are a provider of goods and we are subject to 2% withholding tax. So before we start, let's check our chart of accounts. To make sure that we have a creditable withholding tax account, which is a current asset account. It is a current asset account because once we receive the 2307 form from the withholding tax agent, we can use the tax withheld as a deduction to our income tax payable. And then we should also have an income tax payable, which is a current liability account. So here. Okay, let's create an invoice. And then our customer is Triton Merchandise. They are a withholding tax agent. And then the date is October 28th. Let's leave the other information blank. So the first item is this one for 100 pieces. And price H is 1,300, that exclusive. And then the next item is this one for 150 pieces, 1,200 each. And the last item is this. We're going to disregard this prompt. Click OK. 200 pieces, 1,100 each. Okay, and then I'm going to put a subtotal so we can see the amount before that, which is 530,000 pesos. So the 2% withholding tax will be based from the amount before tax. So the VAT output is 63,600, and the total accounts receivable is 593,600. I will click save and close. I will keep the number. Okay, next is we're going to deduct the 2% withholding tax from the accounts receivable of Triton merchandise. I will go to company and then make general journal entries. The date is October 29. And the first account is accounts receivable, but it's a credit. So 530,000 multiplied by 0 0.02, so that's 10,600. So that's a tip. You can actually make the amount fields in QuickBooks as your calculator. And then the name column should be Triton. And the debit account, of course, should be creditable withholding tax of 10,600. I will click Save and Close. And then let's receive the payment. I will click Receive Payments. Put in the customer name, Triton Merchandise. So let's compute for the remaining amount that will be paid by our customer after deducting the creditable withholding tax. So that's 593,600 minus 10,600. Okay, so the net amount is 583,000 cash. And then we're going to deposit the money to our security bank account. All right, and the most important thing here is we're going to click discounts and credits and, and make sure that this column is checked for this line item so that the 10,600 CWT will be deducted from the customer payment. I will click done, all right there, and I will click save and close. Okay, let's go to our chart of accounts. Let's check our creditable withholding tax account here. I will double click. Okay, so here's our 10,600 from Triton Merchandise. And then we already have an opening balance of 410,174.85. And our total creditable withholding tax is 420,774.85, in which we're going to deduct against our income tax payable. Okay, so next is we're going to create the journal entry for the application of our CWT against our income tax payable. Let's create a journal entry. I will click company and then make general journal entries. The date is November 1st. And our first account is the creditable withholding tax. A credit of 420,774.85, the total amount including the previous balance. And then our debit account is the income tax payable of 1,317,206.06. 206. 
So the remaining income tax payable to the Bureau of Internal Revenue is 896,431.21. And we will be using our PS Bank account to pay for the income tax payable. I will click Save and Close. And let's check our chart of accounts. So we will go to our creditable withholding tax. All right, so it's now zero. It is already applied against our income tax payable. And let's go to our income tax payable. It is already zero as we have already paid this to the Bureau of Internal Revenue. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.